Hi, welcome to Coffee with Cassie. Today we have Beth Gully, who's an Associate Professor of English at JCCC. How are you doing? Hi. How are you, Cassie? Good. Doing well. So I really want to talk to you today about the course syllabus. And I know, um, as a college student myself, how important it is. And knowing that inside and outside, it has the course schedule on it, um, everything. But from a faculty perspective, can you tell us exactly how important it is to becoming a successful college student oh, and knowing this? Absolutely. Um, from the teacher's perspective, the syllabus, and here's this is my syllabus for my Comp2 class, um, is a contract that we make with our students that this is what this course is going to be about and the, that we promise that we're going to teach these things. Um, but from my perspective, it's a way to begin to get to know the teacher and what the teacher expects. And it, um, also in the syllabus, it will usually have your whole schedule for the entire semester as well as a summary of all of the major projects that you're going to be expected to do. Right. And so if you could check in on it every, like the night before your class every day and just check and go, oh yeah, I did, I did that reading. I know I'm good for class tomorrow. Or, oh wow, I, need to, I have to read for tomorrow, so I better do that. Yeah, and some professors don't even give you a heads up, so it's really good to know where that is and be able to look through that. So and even if the professor forgets, usually they expect the students to know what's on the syllabus mm -hmm. and to be prepared with the homework that's on the syllabus. But it also has all my contact information on it. So I like to go over it with my students on the first day of class and let them know my name, my telephone number, my email, and where my mailbox is and where my office is. These things don't necessarily seem important to students on the first day, mm -hmm. but they will be two or three weeks down the road when the student encounters a problem or right. is going to be late to class or has a question. Mm -hmm. Also, teachers tend to ad lib whenever they're going over their syllabus in class. So if they give you a printed syllabus, they really like it if you have a pin. Mm -hmm. And so I may say, here's my phone number and here's my email and here's my office number. The best way to get a hold of me is um, and so that might be good to make a box around. Oh, the teacher said, I could do these things, but if I want to get a hold of her right now, this is the thing I should do. Sometimes students don't realize that they have to attend. Yeah. <laughs> have you ever encountered that? Yes, I've definitely encountered that with um, the perception that you can show up the first day, get the material, and then just kind of do your own thing throughout the semester and show up for finals, which I need to be in class to be, you know, um, actively engaging. But I also know, in my experience, the syllabus um, professors will also put in the way they conduct their classrooms and how they prefer, like, um, no cell phones in class or don't bring your computers to class or things like that. From your experience, do you add those into your syllabus and just kind of give students, you had said it was a contract mm -hmm. of kind of what you expect out of the students. Yeah, so usually my syllabus has three sections, and the first section has my contact information. The second section is the part that's really approved by the state that says what, the, what happens in the course and what the objectives are. And the third section basically gives my, lays out my policies. So I, I tell them what papers we're going to write, and we tell them um, how their points are going to be awarded. Uh, I tell them um, my attendance expectations, and those vary right. from professor to professor. I let them know uh, a little summary of each of the things they're going to be graded on. So I have them do journals. I tell, talk a little bit about the fact that my, in my class we do group work right. um, and that they have to bring typed printed out papers. Um, and that will vary according to professor too. Some people want all their homework turned in digitally. And some professors want it in print. Some of them want it in print in your hand when you walk in the door. Mm -hmm. It also has my grading rubric, so students can know um, how they're going to be assessed. All right, so with the course syllabus, um, you had mentioned a little about this before, about being a contract with the students um, and how it may shape the environment the student's going to be in. Can you share a little bit more about that? So my syllabus um, is going to let students know what I expect um, and how I assess and how I'm going to conduct a class. When I introduce my syllabus, um, I allow students to ask questions, and sometimes students are nervous to do that right away. Yeah. Um, but I also encourage them to email me or to come by my office hours to discuss um, my policies with me. Um, sometimes students will um, feel uncomfortable, and they can uh, er drop out early and switch to a different section mm -hmm. where the teacher conducts classes a little bit differently because 
faculty members are all a little different. Some people tend to lecture more. Some people have more hands-on activities. Some people use um, technology more than others. Mm -hmm. And we tend to be clear about that in our syllabus so students are aware. But yeah, so this definitely gives them an opportunity to see if it's going to fit more with their learning style with the professor. Yes. Um, if, if students read very carefully, especially the later section of the syllabus, teachers are very clear about what they expect students to do and how mm -hmm. learning is going to happen in their particular classroom um, and how they're planning to assess students. And if students are uncomfortable with any um, part of that, um, they're welcome to either discuss it with the teacher or to change sections. Um, and early, the earlier you decide that you're uncomfortable with what's going on in the course, the better. Right, and timing's very important with the classes that you choose. Um, yeah, and like you said, the earlier the better because a lot of times they'll be able to get the full refund even um, for that class, so, and be able to get into a new one. Yeah, well, thank you so much for meeting with me today. It was nice talking with you. That's all for today, but you can go for more interviews with faculty and staff on the Cassie Coffee menu. See you next time.